So I'm going to take out uh, my deck of cards here, and I'm going to uh, make some predictions for you. Okay. okay. So chuck the box down, and then uh, yeah, I'm going to go through here, and I reckon um, we need two predictions for you, Rach. I think so. Mm. Uh, going to go for this one definitely. Okay. And then uh, the next one, uh, I've got Joker. We don't need Joker in there. Uh, next one, I think for you. Oh no. Oh, no, definitely this one. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So that gives us two uh, prediction cards. Uh, let's take that under there. Uh, so we've got the uh, Jack of Clubs and the Six of Diamonds. And what I'm going to do now is with the rest of the pack, I'm just going to deal cards down one at a time behind the uh, predictions. And I want you to just, um, I'm going to have you just call stop anytime you like, but when it feels right for you. Right. Okay. okay, okay. Trust your intuition. Okay. Now, did you stop for the jack or for the six? It's important. I stopped so you wouldn't put another one on the jack. Excellent. That sounds good to me. We're going to do the same thing now for the six. Just call stop anytime you like. Stop. Excellent. OK, and we'll put the six in there. We're going to leave them face up so that we can find them again in a moment. And, um, and I think we, maybe we should push our luck and try the Joker as well. Okay. Um, so we'll take the Joker out and we'll do the same thing again. Just totally trust your intuition. Uh, I wouldn't normally even try the third one, but let's see how it goes. Stop. Now, is this to go down or back? To go on. To go on down here, yeah? Yes. Excellent. OK. You did all that by intuition. And you're happy with that, I yeah? Did. I did. <laughs> Excellent. It just came All right. to me. Yeah. Well, that's how we. That's how we're, we're hoping it works. So, if we spread these cards out, you can see the face-up cards, and they're exactly where you wanted them to go, because they're where you called stop, right? Exactly. So yeah. we're going to take out the first one, the jack, and the card that you've put it next to by calling stop. Okay. And bear in mind, if you'd stopped one card before, it would have been next to this one. Yeah. Or one card after, it would have been next to this one, but you called stop, and it's there. So that's for the jack, we'll do the same for the six, and then we'll do the same for the joker. There we go, joker and the one it's next to. Perfect stuff. So let's see how you did, because I had a feeling, I put the jack of clubs down because I had a feeling that you'd be drawn to the other only black jack in the deck, which would be the jack of spades. And you nailed it. If you were one before, one after, maybe you would have had a different result. The six of diamonds, you place next to the only other red six in the pack, the six of hearts. So that's pretty good as well. Um, but this one's really interesting to me because the Joker is a bit of a wild card, and if you were playing certain games, it can mean any card. Right. So if I had you just name any card, what would that be? Two of diamonds? Two of diamonds. If I had turned over this card and it was a two of diamonds, would you be I've... astonished? Yes. Well, let's have a look. No. Well, let's have a look. <sighs> well, it's ah. on there somewhere. Look, there's the <laughs> two of diamonds. No, well, this is still really impressive because do you know where all those little faces came from? They all came from the deck that we were using at the beginning. There you go.